My name is Andrew Westmoreland, I'm from Union University, and today is welcome to our signing day. Man, that was yesterday's news. My name is Matthew Westmoreland, I'm from Millington Central High School. Today is a signing day for me, and I'm next stop, Union. Whoa, 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 whoa. They think just because they've been to the state seven times in their career, they get to do this intro. No, it belongs to Thomas Sellers Jr. of West Ham Media. Welcome to signing day coverage where we're going to let you see who's going to the next level and how they secure it. Welcome. Glad all y'all could make it today, and we're glad for the seniors that you have finished up. Uh, this is a big day for Will. He has signed a wrestling scholarship to, I'm going to say it wrong, probably Drone University, Down. In, Down University in Nebraska. So he's traveled a ways. He's a good example of a student athlete because he didn't just wrestling. He also played golf. He also took AP and honors courses, and kept his grades up. He's laughing because he knows he did all that. <laughs> but we're very proud of him, and we're proud of the work ethic he has shown in the classroom. Uh, Coach, yes, sir. you'd like to say a few words before we sign this piece of paper? Well, we're... Uh, uh, Coach. <laughs> uh, sorry, my brother couldn't be here. He's at the TWSLA meeting right now, so he's, he's super upset that he wasn't able to be here. But, Will, we're just super happy for you, brother. Uh, it's a big accomplishment, the work that you put in, from where you started to where you are now. It's just night and day, man. Super happy for you, and we're just hoping the best for you. If anything we can ever do for you, all you got to do is reach out. You know, the door's always open over here. Love to have you back sometime in the room. Talk to the kids about your experiences, and uh, like I say, we just hope the best for you, man. We love you. Thanks, Coach. Sure. sure. Congratulations, Will. Uh, it's been great these past three years I've known you to see your confidence level uh, grow and to see you improve on the mat. Uh, and then just see you improve as a, as Ms. Hale said, a student athlete. I know you take care of business in the classroom. And so we'll just let you know we're proud of you and we can't wait to see what the future holds for you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right. Let's sign away. Sign your life away. Yay. Sir, where are you? Hey, hey we're getting, getting ready to do a wrestling promo. Interview. So you're supposed to promote my signing, not promote a match. Oh, 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 so, okay, oh, my, 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 let me take this, okay. Well, well, congratulations. Thank you, sir. Plus, you can beat me up, so I'm going to respect your wishes. Um, today is Will Howard signing day, congratulations. Thank you, sir. Where are we heading off to? Heading off to Doan University, about 30 minutes away from uh, Lincoln, Nebraska. It's in Crete, Nebraska. Midwest wrestling. Yes, sir. Are you ready for that? I signed up for a reason. Wow, we know in that part of the country, from Iowa, Nebraska, Michigan, Big Ten country, that is the best, the absolute best of the best go there. And now Millington is going to be represented by you. That's a big responsibility. No, I'm proud to represent my school. Uh, I did poorly this year at State. You know, I had a dislocated elbow. Did you do poorly or did you get hurt? <laughs> I would say I got hurt more than did poorly. Yeah. But, but when I first got injured, I was like, man, I could have just done more. I was ready to go. And finally, I, was, I told the nurse to just pop back in. I can do it for three more minutes. Wow, wow, man. Now, that's toughness right there. And that's part of the Howard Nine. In Millington, everybody knows your family's legacy. Now, you get to add on to that and write your own chapter. The sisters, they done this. You know, dad, everybody knows Mr. Billy. But how does it feel to author your own chapter in the Howard history of Millington? Don't quote, well, quote me on this. Yeah, we'll see it there. Um, <laughs> I've finally done something our family hasn't done. Have a, this is going to sound very uh, it extra, true? but it true? <laughs> we haven't had a kid go to college or to a top five recruitment college. What I mean by that is that the school is top five in wrestling. Yes. And I'm really thankful that uh, Coach Vo sees me that I'm, that I'm qualified for that position. And I'm also to say that I at least have a position in my family to show that I am worth something. Wow. Now, this day could have been in jeopardy a couple years ago. Here's sophomore year. Your team comes in and says, hey, we need you to be out 106. And you're hitting a natural growth spur. Your body's getting bigger. And it, the 106, you had to do that drastic weight cut. And you came to that crossroad. What kept you going and sticking with wrestling to this very day? There was two thoughts going in my head. One selfish and one selfless. Okay. 
Break them down. But my selfish version was, I needed a way to pay for college. Everybody <laughs> knows that college can get very expensive, but I know that if I got a wrestling scholarship, something that I very much enjoy, I see no problem with it. Now, my selfless version is that I don't want my dad to pay for my college. Obviously, he has two other kids, my sister Anne and my sister Mallory. Uh, they're both in college for sports, and it's still very expensive. So I really, I really want to ease the burden. Yes, sir. Wow. So, so, and then the selflessness extends over to your team. You got this quality wrestler at 106, but then junior and senior, you're like, hey, I got to look out for Will. I got to take I'm one third. I know I'm, I'm gonna put some weight back on and, and wrestle in my natural spot. Right. How did it feel these past two years? These past two years, I felt healthier when wrestling. Uh, I have a weird come to terms my junior year after wrestling so light, wrestling kids my weight. I just got thrown around so bad. <laughs> But then I got used to it, and I made it state all three years. Yeah. Uh, we don't talk about freshman year. Yeah, it's freshman year. Okay. Now, your senior year, how special has this year been the team success, the individual success? What are you going to remember most about the 2023-24 season? I'm going to remember the team success. Uh, the team itself has yet to go to state in the past 30 years, 25 to 30 years. Yeah. And I, who, I'm not saying I'm the reason because this is a team sport at that point. But I would like to say that I am proud of what I done for this team. I could have worded that better, but well, speaking of that, turn around, everybody, to the back of your shirt. What does that mean? Explain it and turn back around. Explain. Excuse me, I forgot yeah. what's on the shirt. It, oh, well, Coach Haley's quote: "Today, y'all become more the champion. Y'all become legends." Yes, sir. Uh, you have to look inside yourself about what you want to be as a human being. You can't look at yourself saying. Or you can't be wrestling, can't be doing any sport, can't be going through school saying, I'm only here just to get it done. If you say, like me, I went to state my sophomore year, yeah. and I went there to be a champion, not to be there just to get a medal in there, you have to have the right mindset to do what you love. If you don't do what you love, what's the point of doing it at all? That's true. So you do get there your senior year, the injury comes, and your career could end that way. But talking to your dad, he says, no way, Will's going to let his career end that way. How much did that motivate you to get to the next level? And are you happy with your landing spot? No. The motivation I got from that is, is mostly I got a break and I had time to, you know, recoup and think about myself. Like, do I truly want to do this, go to the next level? Uh, do I really believe this is the right path? And such like that. Giving yourself time to think after such an event is really important because you don't think by yourself. Have others with you. And my father being there for me really pushed me to, you know, finish signing that letter, made me push myself further during summer, trying to do some summer workouts and whatnot. But regardless, I really think it's really important that that happened. Because let's, theoretically, let's say I never got injured. Yeah. I would have gotten my medal and it would have been just that. I would feel proud about it, but I believe I really needed that injury because I had really really fallen apart with my uh, father at the time and I think that was a great time to just recoup but we lost. Man, God works in mysterious ways, he has nice ways and sometimes harsh hard ways to get us back on the right path. But now you're on the path to Nebraska and are you are you happy with your landing spot? Yes sir. Why is that? I'm going to a school that looks really enjoyable. Uh, Top five. Fa and, and fairly yeah. cheap. Yeah, okay. And the flights back home are cheaper too. <laughs> okay, hey, so it's time for you, Will, to carry the Howard name to the next level, the Millington name to the next level, but also write another chapter in your legacy. Congratulations. Okay, Thank no. you, sir.